So you definitely need to know your target audience. That way you're not spamming any and everybody online with your music, but how in the world do you find them? What's up guys, Brandon here from KDMR Music, the channel making you a more successful musician. I do that through videos about music marketing, music strategy, and general music business education in videos just like this one. So if you're interested in that type of content, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, that way you don't miss out on the next one. Now, a couple weeks ago, I did a video about why your friends and family are not your fans. No matter how much you want them to be, no matter how much you wish they supported you and believed in you, they're not the people you should be focusing your time on. But who are? Who should you be focusing your time on? Well, in marketing, we would call this group your target audience. And in today's video, I'm giving you three questions that you need to ask to simplify the search for your target audience. You ready? Cool. Now, before we do, this video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform dedicated to helping you learn creative skills. So if you wanna learn videography, photography, music, piano, music production. There are courses for all of these things taught by people who you may have heard of and people you've never heard of who are really good at what they do. Now, if you want a free trial to Skillshare, just use the link in the description below. You'll get a month free trial. That way you can take as many courses as you want before time expires. Uh, now, thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So where was I? Oh, yeah, that's right, your target audience. So you've got three questions, three really simple questions that are gonna help you steer your mind toward your target audience and stop focusing on people who are never going to care about your music. First question you need to ask yourself if you're looking for your target audience is, who likes me? Who likes you? Who likes you? Is it old ladies? Is it young ladies? <laughs> is it kids, right? Who likes you? And not even just in the who would like you, but who actually likes you right now? When you look at your socials, who are the most engaged people? Who are they? Like, do you see the same names over and over again? I don't care if it's your Aunt Shirley. Does Aunt Shirley like every post? Cool. She likes you. Who likes you? That's who you need to know. Right now, once you can identify who likes you, whether it's a certain group of people online, a certain, you know, 10 people on your email list. Cool. Now that you know who likes you, you need to ask yourself the second question. The second question is, why do they like you? Why do they like me? Right. Who likes me? Why do they like me? Now, the why is really going to focus in on the psychology of your average fan. Um, and it could be that they like you because your music reminds them of a certain stage in their lives. It could be they like you because your music is fun. It could be that they like you because you sound like the fa their favorite artist that's on the radio right now. And they love finding up and coming artists, right? It could be they like the way you look on Instagram. They like your swag. They like your outfits. They like the way you do your hair. All those things. It could be that they like one specific song of yours. You might look on your Spotify for Artists dashboard and see one song with tens of thousands of plays and then nothing else, right? But it's really important for you to know why the people who like you like you. Do they like you because of the one style of song? Is there just one song that got a bunch of plays on a playlist? Is there one song that you have that has a different message from all the rest of your music? Like... That's important for you to know. If you know that, you know, girls from the ages of 13 to 17 like you because you make music like a teen heartthrob and you're like, you know, Justin Bieber in the making, that's good for you to know. You know why it's good for you to know? Well, because of the third question. Now, the third question you've got to ask yourself is where can I find more, right? Where are the rest of them? Who likes me? Why do they like me? And where are the rest of them? If you know who likes you and you know why they like you, then this third question isn't that far of a stretch, right? If girls between the ages of 13 and 17 like you because you're a teen heartthrob, you play the guitar and you're like, I don't know, Jesse McCartney back in the day, throwback, Justin Bieber, Aaron Carter, the Backstreet Boys, right? You got that whole thing going for you. Then trying to figure out where you can find more 
Well, maybe it was shopping malls back in the day. Maybe it's TikTok now because, you know, the newer a social media platform is, the younger the audience on that platform tends to be, right? So maybe your fan, your potential fans are on TikTok. And if you know that your potential fans are on TikTok, well, then the next obvious step is making content for TikTok and growing an audience that way, right? Where are your fans? Maybe, you know, you make jazz music and your uh, audience is an older audience, right? Easy listening. You know, maybe they're the cruise ship type that takes vacations every year on a carnival cruise, maybe not in the pandemic, but right, that's a certain type of person. Well, where can you find more of those people? Well, those people might shop at, you know, sort of upscale clothing boutiques, right? So maybe you find an arrangement to get your music playing in some of those boutiques. Maybe you find uh, which TV shows that they like, right? Maybe they like, I don't know, the latest Tyler Perry <laughs> TV show, right? Those audiences tend to be a little bit older. Well, is there a way for you to get your music synced on that TV show, right? Issa Rae's Insecure just ended a couple months ago and something that was really, really popular about her show was her musical selection. As a matter of fact, her musical selection were so well known and well loved and well curated that she's got her own record label now, right? So maybe even just getting in the room with those TV people and, you know, finding music supervisors who can put your music in TV shows that are similar to that since, I mean, Insecure has ended, right? That can open up a whole new door, a whole new window of opportunity for you. So where can you find more of these fans, right? This day and age, especially since the pandemic started, pretty much everything is online and everyone is online. People are consuming content at a rate like double or triple what they were doing two years ago, right? I say that to say there's an audience for everyone here on the internet, but you got to figure out where yours are. Right. Do they uh, listen to music on a certain streaming platform versus another? Do they uh, get their information, their news from a specific source? Do they watch Fox News? Do they watch CNN? Do they read The Root or do they read, you know, I don't know, Essence Magazine? What does your target audience do? Who are they? Why do they like you? What's their mindset around you and where do they hang out? Where are their friends that you can go and grab and get them to come and join your tribe too? So those were three simple questions that you can ask to find your target audience. If you need help, if you got more questions, if you want some, me to address something else in another video, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in another video very soon. Until then, be safe, be well, keep dreaming, and work hard to make those music business dreams your reality. Peace.